Hello, and um, this is, it's been quite a while, but here we are again playing the Star Wars RP, and I think, what was it that we called it, Ball? We called it Wookie Cookies. Wookie Cookies. Wookie right. Cookies. Yes, yes. And I'm here with Ball, the Bodacious, and um, Venom, the Phenom, and I'm going to play the part of Iniri, the Twi'lek. <laughs> oh. Um, I listened to the last recording, and I noticed myself using quite a bit of uh and um. So I'm going to see if I can reduce that somewhat. So it's a little bit more listenable, if that's a word. Um, oh, there I did it again. Okay, well, starting off strong. Public speaking. <laughs> Public speaking. It's been, I like, six years since I took one of those courses. <laughs> anyway. So, last time, the on crew... Dragon Ball Z. Yes, last time on Wookie Cookies, the trio found a old, decrepit Sith Yeah, you need to be nicer in, the, in your descriptions of Aniri. She's not that old. Decrepit, yeah, okay. <laughs> and, uh, she's not going to be very nice to you this time. Hmm? Uh so, are we gonna eat found... more Wookiee cookies, though? Well, are I mean, we? There might be leftover Wookiee in the in the storage area. That's all I care. Sure hope so. So, last time the trio found a old, decrepit Sith um, holdout area, a holdout base, when they were fleeing from a very, very oversized monster, and. In this area, they found a shuttle and five Sith warriors. These are true uh, pure-blood Sith, and uh, they ended up having a battle over who could get the shuttle. This particular shuttle is pre-programmed to go straight to the... It's pre-programmed to go straight back to the main base where you guys were at before, where the Master is. And together, you are going to attempt to take the Master down. Now, it's been a little while, so I'll also reveal that at one of the places you guys visited before, the little mouse droid revealed that there was a ship hidden in one of the plateaus. So, if you can't get access to this ship via the Master, you might be able to get access to that ship. And that is about where mm -hmm. we are right now. Where we are is in a shuttle about two hours out from the Master's Temple. You're skidding across the grass, not the grass. There is no grass on Korriban. What am I talking about? The sand. Look at this photograph. Photographs. Um, I have not drank enough, so I'm less intelligible than usual. Um, anyway, so... It is a very uneasy moment between you and the Sith, who master you just kick the shit out of, and you are waiting on your route to get back to the master. Now, is there anything you'd like to do, just starting this off, before you get to the master's temple? Um, uh, I'll, I'll just take a quick morale check for everybody, because it's been kind of a wild, from what I remember, we kind of just got our shit rocked, and we were running away from this thing, and I know we picked up some treasure and everything like that, but I don't think we've had, like, a, a real break in a while, so I'll, uh, and I know that the, the Sith are just kind of staying, sitting there pouting, um, because we just kick their asses, and they're like, Oh, no, I have to help you now, a blood oath. <laughs> Fucking morons. <laughs> so, um, I'll just try to field how everybody's feeling. Like, Aniri and uh, Venom, those guys. So, how are you guys doing? Homies. How are the homies doing? 
No, no, homies. How about that? Uh, homies, dude? Should, should, should uh, Ball have a, a perception check for this? Ball might need a perception check. Well, I mean, I was, I was like vocally asking a question, like, hey, how are you guys doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Ineri is still angry. That, that, that was long winded. <laughs> yes. Ineri is still angry at uh, both of you. And, but, uh, but she is, seems to be psyching herself up to have the encounter. Um, now, everybody also is at full health because you've had plenty of time to heal yourselves. Um, so you won't have to worry about that when you get there. Now, how is uh, I would say, I would say Venom uh, is pre- pretty good. Violence just happened. Ha ha. 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 Okay. Well, the uh, Sith so... are not talking to you. They can't speak uh-huh. English. Duh. Fucking stupid. <laughs> they are actually speaking intergalactic basic. How the fuck would they know that? Because intergalactic basic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're basic. I knew it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so the the Sith are not talking to you, but they have promised to help you, and they are ten- currently tending to the wounds of their master. Now, uh, it does not appear as though they have access to Force Heal. They're not into. They're the using med packs. Hey, they got. They probably got the, like the old ass like, uh, I heal one hit point per hit pack. Yeah. And it makes the the ching The old Kotor. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. Those are the ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that seems to be the morale check from everybody. All right, I'd like to do an inspiration check, or or an inspiration roll. I want to inspire everyone around me. Okay, so let's see what are. Your, uh, I I am talking to the the robot that I've essentially hooked. Wait, no. How did I have the the robot set up yet? I didn't have it like connected to me at all. It, it wasn't like on my shoulder yet, right? Because I know no, I. No, you had. I think it was just rolling. You just you strapped a blaster to it. Oh, that's right. I did have. <laughs> yeah, it's a it mouse droid the... that you have a yes, blaster right. strapped to it. No, you had one of those. Remember, you guys, you guys fought those turrets. Yes, and, and I so, stole. Yeah, the... you stole the top of the turret and put it on this mouse droid, and somehow it can fire bolts. Yeah, and we finally came to an agreement. I let it shoot things, and it helped me. Indeed, it's um, it's kind of like a pug. It's full of um, impotent rage at everything around it, <laughs> and so you are enabling it to destroy its enemies. Yeah, that's all I've ever wanted in a relationship. Impotent rage. <laughs> sure. Okay, inspiration. Let's see. What do you have a skill for this? Let's no, see. I don't. I'm just annoying as fuck. Fair. Fair. I thought I remember you using inspiration quite a bit last time. Yeah, see, that's what you'd think. Okay, so because I remember this and it seems to, I seem to recall this, why don't you go ahead and put a plus four on uh, on social in there. Is mine a negative four? <laughs> no, yours is still a zero. Are you kidding? You're the sexiest motherfucker around here. What, 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 what do you mean? You That's mean, physicality. I like yeah. That's charm, baby. There's no one that could ever be as horny as you. It's true. I'm the horniest in the land. My physical is 12. Plus 12. So. Your pecs are absolutely massive. The biggest tits I've ever seen. Like the bird or like the bananas? You know exactly what I meant. Okay. Like the rock. <laughs> like the rock. I'm going to talk to you like The Rock talked to that guy from High School Music. It doesn't matter what you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll inspiration. On a D what? Uh, D's nuts? D100. Okay. And 
higher is better. Uh, right here now. Plus four, right? Plus four. All right, escalator. Escalator. Increase. Okay, go ahead and say your speech. Pairs. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. <laughs> I don't think I should lead with a Rick Ross joke. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Friends, Romans, female. Hey, you know, that short guy's been fucking with us for a while. So what I think we should do is really grab him by the chin. You know, it's only three feet off the ground. And yeet him. As far as he can go. And frankly, I think he might be a little racist. He was talking mad shit about this, well, me. But that's not the point. He's mean. He sucks. And I, frankly, I heard him say that uh, he thinks it's Sith or Smelly. So, yeah, there you go. I nod enthusiastically. <laughs> DM rolls dice. The Sith. I did it. Oh my god. <laughs> the Sith perk up. Nani no, no. And go. Nani, Nani. <laughs> and something has yet to teleport behind them. But. No. They seem to. Uh, they seem to be uh, quite a bit more angry now. You have successfully inspired everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but. What, what about a Leary? I need. I need. Leary, to, I need. Yeah. I need to see you roll, and I need to hear everyone's responses to these things. Okay. That 41. was not... You inspired her. She is... In spite of herself, she laughs and um, pats you on the shoulder. Physical contact. Yes. No one's touched me since I was five. <laughs> Well, uh, in eerie, in eerie, uh, <laughs> like you, you lost your points. So it goes back to what you no, said. No, 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 no. Let me, let me finish the sentence. No one's, <laughs> no one's touched me since I was five, except for all the abuse, and the abuse, and the abuse, and the brain damage. Yeah, and, and the, the brain, brain damage. damage. Okay, well, this is because well, sad. I brought violence with me, so that's right, good buddy. I'm sorry. No, violence in other people's great. I oh, good, because I wasn't actually sorry. <laughs> I know, big guy. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready to advance to the b -b -b boss battle? Should we? I know we identified that other ship. So should we go there first and check out the ship? Because I know with that, th yeah, so this isn't in character. Um, um, so if we go and do that, we might be able to identify if there's any other supplies or extra stuff there. But we also run the risk of the Sith going like, yeah, I'm fucking out of here and leaving. So there is a question. Um, every time you guys have gone on an outing, the Master has been there when you got back. This shuttle is pre-programmed to go straight back to... Wait, so we have no ability to move the shuttle... No, but there is his ship, and there are um, presumably some way to pre-program the shuttle to go to other places. So you might be able to find the list of programs that can bring you back to the other site and find the other ship. Okay, I have, I have another question then. So, okay, yeah, we'd have to go there either way. Um, can the mouse droid do any interactions with computer interfaces other than opening and closing doors. So how stupid is he? Well, the mouse drive is incredibly smart. Can it can operate things in the similar way to like an RTD2 could? It is about 60% as smart as RTD2. Could I... Well, you I'll could, figure you that could out have later. the droid try to slice the system to hack into it. Hmm. See, the, the problem... We need to access... You need to hold the, it up to the thing, yeah, though. Yeah, but we'd also need to access the data logs for it to go to, like, the last trips that we went on so we can identify where we were dropped off, and then we have to physically find the ship. Um, 
so why don't we uh, there's nothing else we can really do at this point um I wonder what would happen if I showed the, uh, the... Did the Sith people see my saber? That one that's like... Ooh, this is bad. The oh, um, no, they have not gotten... They have not really searched you or anything like that yet. But didn't they beat their asses with it? You... Which one of you guys had oh, the Oh, no, no, no. He was up sword. close. I was using blaster fire because yeah. he came up and, like, punched me in the stomach and then it was, like, on the ground. Yeah. And he was, like, fighting ball and then, for some reason, couldn't hit him. Fucking nerd. Hibernation sickness. Yeah, okay. That, I, I'm nerfing them for you. <laughs> <laughs> suck Nerf. <to> suck. <laughs> Carbonite. Suck suck. It wasn't even Carbonite, though. They were, they were in liquid... Fucking nerds. Do you and even Bacta? <laughs> <laughs> Technically so, speaking, they were in a form of Bacta. How but... would they even... But well, hold on, though. Bacta is all from um, Mananon, or whatever. Yeah. whatever. How would... They didn't... Hmm. Mananon existed and was... But um, it did, setting... but it wasn't mined in the same way that it is even in, in KOTOR. Because that was a big part of the war... Um, and but they didn't have that in like the hyperspace war, even like a hundred or so years earlier. This is, uh, this is actually after Kotor, and this is after the events of Sortor. Well, I know, I know, but like, the Sith, the mm -hmm. pure blood Sith, were there for presumably a very, very long time, because in in the Kotor one and two, there are no pure blood Sith around. They're they're away at that point, because mm -hmm. they come back later in the um, the MMO for it. So the canon, they're they're around, but on on um Korriban, they're not there they're somewhere else so if, if they're there that means they're like a couple hundred years old maybe mm -hmm. right so like it, it'd be it's actually really interesting they would have any kind of like back to access maybe they're royal because they had this weird jelly stuff that doesn't make them feel bad anymore There is a reason for this, you'll find out later, but they were indeed in Bacta tanks that were altered to allow them to enter a permanent slumber. Uh, but hibernation sickness is essentially what they have at the moment that is making them more sluggish than they would normally be. They're woozy. Woozy. It's your boy, woozy. Woozy. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. Okay, so where do you want to go? Um, well, okay. Uh, so I guess I'll just ask a general question to the characters. Uh, first I'll ask, um, hey, uh, Venom. So, this, uh, mouse oh. droid might be able to get us, you know, if it can... I could motivate it properly. It might be able to splice and change co course so we could kind of go anywhere we need to. But we kind of need to go beat up this little shit, right? Is it worth it to try to get like a deviation of course to go somewhere else? Well, if we are to deviate and we are to go to this ship, where would we go after? Presumably away. And that does not confront our issue with this person who will be upset that we have stolen his program shit. Or impressed at her ingenuity. He is a teacher, remember, an educator. <laughs> mm -hmm. He also needs to die. You raise a strong <laughs> point. Uh, Aniri? Haha. <laughs> Henry says, if we go to the place with the other ship, we might be able to just jet out of here without having to fight him. But there's undoubtedly a lot of really interesting artifacts where he is, and we might even be able to get our hands on the lightsaber by fighting him. I really want one of those. Okay, yeah, let's go. Also, 
your other parts, those things that um, you guys found in the last night, your relics, oh, are back still with him. Oh, but remember the egg as well. Oh, shit. Oh, no, we yes, need that. Yes, the egg. The thing I'm a mother. I'm totally remembered. Yes. <laughs> I'm a mother. <laughs> It's mother. it's in my it's in my D and D notes. I have an egg. I'm a mother. Perfecto. I am mother now. I am become mom. <laughs> okay. That so was the best Vietnam impression I could do. Uh huh. Oh. Are you guys uh-huh. headed back to the master, or to try the to slice the ship? Rock to see you, the wizard, the wonderful, wonderful wizard. wizard of bitch. That's it. <laughs> okay. Then the two hours pass by fairly slowly because there is not much to do in the ship. But you eventually dock into the secret facility. Yay. And the door opens. That's pretty neat. So... How eager are the Sith to get just get this over with? Are they just like, all right, let's go kick some ass and chew some gum, um, or are they like waiting for us to like lead the way? They have now grouped up. You you know you see in SWAT movies how they group up by the doors and look out. Mm-hmm. They have grouped up and now they are looking around outside ready to jump out and fight. They seem to be waiting on your command, though. Mine or Venon's? Ineri specifically. What? She didn't even do anything in the fight. <laughs> she wasn't involved. She's like, nah, fighting's not the way. They sense a difference in strength. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> we carried her. <laughs> anyway, so they're, they're waiting for your guys' command. Strength of character, man. The door has opened. Um. I. I feel like as soon as I say that, um, Vietnam would be like, "I'm gonna get my egg." We should probably. I would, maybe. I want to get my equipment first because I don't know. I don't remember what I forgot in that room. So I would probably want to make a beeline for that. So You have all of your combat equipment, but you do not have the lightsaber parts. Yeah, I want to, I want to get like that. that. Alright okay. guys, let's go to my room. It'll be sick. Okay, so you walk out of the door onto the floor of the main hangar bay. And there is no master. <laughs> Stupid. Howard. Doesn't he know that we're robbing him? <laughs> okay, let, I'm going to my room. <laughs> okay, you walk up to the door, and the door doesn't open for you. Hello? I knock. It beeps at you. I say, hey, bro. Uh, I need to get in. It beeps at you twice. Mouse droid. All right, Time to use droid. Mouse droid. Yeah, come here. Uh, you lift up the mouse droid to enter the little, um, I won't know what you call that, the maintenance hole. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But you, you lift it up, and he fires his blaster. And burns out the door. What? 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 What the fuck? Hey! Hey! Listen to me. Beep! 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 beep. Which in machine language means, ah! I destroy my energy. Is blood for the blood god? So, I have a question. Blood god? Do you want to continue functioning? The door opens. Oh. All right. But an alarm goes off. Well, I'm quite alarmed anyway. So this is perfect. Um, all right, well, uh, seize the day. 
I started running to my room. I hope people follow me. Uh, everybody seems to be following you. Hey, molto bene. And you get about two thirds there before blast doors start closing behind you. Uh, you have two. You'll have two blast doors that you'll have to get through to get back to the hangar. Should we leave people back at the hangar or? Too late. What? Everybody's following you. Well, fuck it. Onward. So you get to the, the way. You get to the room, and you see that the entire room has been ransacked. My brains. There is no one inside. You look to be the only apprentices left alive. But alive. Uh -huh. there are nobody. There's nobody else in there. But everything seems to have just been destroyed. There are lightsaber burns on the walls. And curiously, your stuff is gone. I'm real curious, George, about this. This is some serious monkey business going on. All right, um, to the mess hall. I'm hungry. You're right. We need more Wookie cubes. Ah, he gets it. Some Wookie cookies. Some furry, fuzzy snacks. <laughs> Meat. Meat. It's what's for dinner. Hey, hey, Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. We want like some shakaroni pizza? <laughs> yeah. I, I saw a commercial yeah. for that today. They're, literally, somebody, somebody's selling, Papa John's is selling shakaroni pizza. Let me tell you something, Chuck. I'm going to take that whole business from Papa John. It's going to be Papa Shaq soon. Don't don't tell me no, Shaq. That you're saying Shaquille no, and I'm telling you Shaquille yes. We're a fan of Shaquille in this podcast. This and podcast is brought to you <laughs> by the Shaq movie from Papa John's. Papa Only found at Papa John's for now. This podcast is brought to you by Shakaroni Pizza. Do you want me to slam? Slam. Okay, so you guys go out <laughs> of the room, and thankfully the cafeteria is very close by. You open up that door, which thankfully doesn't uh, lock you out. And in the middle of the room, you see all of the all of the tables and chairs have been tossed all over the place. And in a small pile are the robots, the cook robots. They're all kind of piled on top of each other. Bro, this was our job. Who is taking all our damn credit? All right. Um, I, I would love to see if I could salvage any parts from the robots. I mean, they're there, so I might as well see if I can steal any of the processors or at least maybe the recipes or something like that from them, either into the data pad or to the mouse droid. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'd like to roll a check, please. <laughs> uh, which check would you like to roll? Let's see. I could do perception... Uh, I don't. I don't have a tech bonus on here, which I find kind of odd. Um, I guess I'll just do normal perception. Um, it looks like I have fourteen. So mm -hmm. it ends on a D one hundred, right? Yeah. I. I. I Give me a really bad roll now because I just got an 82. 45! Okay. Uh. Well, that's good for you. You walk up to the droids and you notice that something is very off. The mouse droid beeps at you and you hear beeping in response and essentially the mouse droid is talking to the chef droids and this is what they're saying. Asteroid says, what the, fuck? what the heck are you guys doing? Or, blood for the blood god, what the hell are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. And the chef droids say, shh, we're trying to get the jump on him. Jump on who? Can you say that out loud? 
Oh, the jump on me, huh? No, do you actually say that out loud? Can I understand the robot? Yes. You are a Jedi, so therefore, for some reason, you can understand all languages. Yes, I say, hey, hey, jump on who? It goes beep, 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 the intruders. Oh. Um, yeah, they ran down the hall the other way. I just saw them. Do you guys have any spare processors? Beep, 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 beep. No, we are the only models that the teacher has. We will go and attack the people now because our ambush has failed. They right themselves and go down the hall and start hacking at the door that was shut behind you. Okay. They, they're they trying to break through the bulkhead. Um, I guess we'll just go the other direction. Like... Is there, is there like a library or any other area we can access from here? There is a uh, one of those tranquil pools for meditating. I'm feeling pretty good. And tranquil. there is a warehouse that is conspicuously empty. All right, Venom, you decide. Hello. I'm deciding. Hmm. The silence is brought to you by Shepherd Pie. Ah, it burned the roof of my mouth. Shepherd Pie. Huh. I tried to, I tried to joke there and it didn't land. I added silence to help and it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I added silence to. <laughs> uh, That's funny. We were all um, I uh, uh, ball, ball. I say we go to to the the warehouse area. All right, O'Leary, your opinion probably doesn't matter, but I'll ask anyway. What do you think? My name is Aniri, and who? Go fuck yourself. And the warehouse is an okay idea, but I thought we were going to fight the master. Yeah, but if we find anything else that we could help, or at least get a clue of what's been happening, that might be kind of nice. Fair enough. She starts, walks out of the room. Don't tell her this, but I respect her, and I think she's a good person. Never let her know. Uh, uh -huh. She does not appear to have heard. Uh -huh. Fuck yeah, bro. Okay. I, I enjoy this joke. <laughs> uh <-huh>. oh. Humor. <laughs> I know you said humor, but it sounded like human. You're funny. Ha ha. So you enter the this warehouse. joke. I like it. Another. Yeah. You enter the warehouse, and there seems to be spare parts for lots of different weapons, blasters, parts of turrets and other arcane devices that you don't know the nature of without a check. Um, I'll do a general perception check. I encourage the party to do them as well. Yeah. 58. I don't think I had a perception bonus, so is it just a d100? Had at least like plus six. Yeah, you should have had you should have had some bonus for that. You know, I'm finding that we're actually missing some of our stats here. So, uh, Ball, go ahead and write a uh, plus six for um, for tech or engineering because you did glue the top of the turret to the top to the bottom of the mouse blade. So it do does actually function that way, and. Uh, Venom, go ahead and add a plus six for, let's say, like a plus eight for perception, because you should have yeah. that, and uh, I'm fairly certain we use, that's the stat that we used last time. Okay. I didn't have a note, so I will add that, and is that a D100 still, or is that a D20? That's a D100, yeah. 
P100 plus 8. And we roll an 18. So perceptive. Okay, let's see what Daenerys gets. Well, 26. What did you get, Ball? 58. 58. You uh, have seen the most interesting thing out of everybody. And you notice that there is a repulsor unit from one of the turrets that seems to be functional. It is enough to lift one of those turrets and move it around. Um, can I salvage it in a way to attach it to the mouse droid? The piece itself, the repulsor unit, is detached from the turret, so you can just pick it up and put it in your pack. Okay. Could I give it to the mouse droid in some capacity? It's gonna take. It's gonna take a little while. I have to have to... a workstation, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. I'll just I'll put it in my pack. Oh, so let me write that down. Where did my thing go? Over here. The Sith look about the room and seem to pick up some of the weapon parts and start modifying their weapons. But otherwise, it doesn't seem like they found anything interesting. The room itself, the rest of the perception checks should show you that the room itself is essentially bare of everything that you remember being in there before. This was a room that had a ton of archival stuff in it that seems to be have, have been hastily picked up and taken somewhere else. And not and very sloppily, because there are bits and pieces that seem to have fallen out of boxes, crates. So this was probably not done by a droid. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, don't do that. Um, where else can we access from here? Since there is the bulkheads and the set, um, the meditation room. Um, I I give a kind of. Uh, questioning thumbs up to the Sith. Um, how do they respond? They stare at you for a second and then very slowly give you a thumbs up <laughs> in response. Oh my god, this is exactly what I've waited for. Um, acceptance. I'm a part of them now. Okay, so um, I, I, I look over and I say, Hey, Aniri, Venom. Let's go kick some munchkin ass. And I go to the meditation room. The meditation room opens up, and the pristine fountain that used to be there. This is, if you guys remember in episode three, where they have that massive room in the Senate floor that has the floating water and fish that are jumping in between it. Mm -hmm. This is essentially a much smaller version of that. They're using repulsor technology to... Um, to make the, the thing has been a, uh, absolutely obliterated, cut into tiny little pieces. Bro, what happened? Did he just the like lights, lose his temper? The, even like, the lights eh. are blinking on and off, half destroyed. Uh, I'd love to do a force perception check. So I could figure out what, what the hell was going on here. Okay. And I think my mirror looking eye might show me some sexy, sexy uh, uh, path. So um, let me see. Because I had normal perception and then I had, I think, plus 20 for yeah. force. Yeah, your force um, to it. Yeah. So I think that I have plus 14 on force rolls. So it'd be, plus, so it'd be 28 in total. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me add that on there. A hundred and twenty-six. So you reach out with the force, and instead of seeing the walls or anything, like usually usually in a place that is 
filled with as much rock as this, it's very difficult to see past the runes themselves. But you reach out with the Force and feel the presence of the Master. He is in the opposite end of the place, in the training room. But can I get any perception of, like, what happened in this room? In this room specifically? You sent a great deal of anger in the warehouse. You sense that there was a discovery and an opportunity. And in the quarters, you discover that this was some place where he found something very interesting. And the cafeteria is a trap that he set up specifically for you. <laughs> Not a very good one. Not a very good one. Well, these are essentially like B1 battle droids that have kitchen knives. <laughs> hey, we saw the intruders. <laughs> they went down the hall. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> so they go up to a metal door, and they're just stabbing it with frail kitchen knives. <laughs> we'll get them. We're loyal to our master. <laughs> Mouse droids. Blood for the blood of God. I love, I love the, the droids in the Star Wars universe because they're either like super intelligent beep bop droids or like the ones that can speak are just like, oh yes, oil, I need this. I killed my master on accident. Oops, I fell down. I am C-3PO. <laughs> How is Jar Jar Binks worth more than... I won't get into this. This is a whole nother... Okay. okay. Jar Jar Binks is an argument into it, so... Uh, why did George Lucas go back into the Clone War saga and make him some dude that's just, like, accidentally amazing and just slaying alien ass all the time? What the fuck? Because Misa the best. Misa Misa wants some of. Ooh, never mind. And okay. he is not interested. Okay. Um, in all seriousness, no, I look at the at the group and specifically to Aniri and and Ball, and I I kind of share with them some of my findings. Um, and One it more seems thing: like... the master seems to be. Um, it seems like there is a time limit that he is running into here. Hmm. So, guys, it feels like, you know, and I'm just a filthy mirror looking, you know. Not everyone in here can be pure blood. But, wait, wait, I'm pure blood. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, so all you guys, I can't make a good joke out of this that wouldn't be racist, so never mind. Um... Tonkis. No. No. <laughs> um, no. That's real life racism. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Can't, uh, God. Um, <laughs> focus, 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 focus. Um, it seems like uh, the master found something. And I feel like if we don't stop him right now, something really, really bad is about to happen. So I know we needed to kill him before, but we really need to hurry over to where he is because I'm worried that either, like, a spirit... Because let's be honest, we've run into some crazy shit in the last 48 hours. There was a giant lizard crab thing. Um, there was a Sith ghost that we're just uh, not... We're just ignoring. We, we're all not even talking about it. <laughs> I, it could be me. I could just be hallucinating, but let's move on. Um, I feel like out of all of the things we've experienced in here, because we've only been here, like, total on this planet, like, two weeks, and I have never run into more crazy shit. So I feel like if we don't stop him right now, we're going to be possessed by some evil, horny space demon. So I would like to go kill him. Agreed? Eloquent, says Aniri. Kill? See, he gets Kill? <laughs> Come on, Aniri. Murder. Nerd. <laughs> Murder. 
Murder? Yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'll do it again. <laughs> Fucking do it again. Uh, so you guys go, and it looks like the droids have somehow managed to prop the door halfway open. They're trying to crawl under it, but their bulk is somewhat getting in the way. So, like, they're still trying to get out, and we're just kind of staring at them from behind, like, the master wants it. Mm -hmm. Could we just, like, should we help them? I look at the Sith, like, what What do you want to do? They look back and forth between you and the droids, and... Do <laughs> I give them your thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah! <laughs> all right, uh... Ball, why don't you lead the way? Ball, ball, get your ball. Your your ball. Oh my god, <laughs> Venom, Venom! I'm having a senior moment. Please help. And here he walks forward. All right, I'll lead the way to li lift the door up. Um, I help. She is straining under the weight. That's crazy. I am helping. Luck, though. I am helping. With my superior physicality, should I roll for this? Yes, <laughs> go ahead and roll your physicality. I roll perception oh, to see how they're doing. Is this <laughs> is this a um Just D twenty D one hundred D one hundred? Okay. You should have like plus twenty physicality, right? I have a plus twelve physicality, <sighs> but I think it should have gone up. I I don't know if I adjusted it or not after our last I don't round. Think... I don't, we were intending to meet up a lot sooner for this. <laughs> yes. So uh, let's just add another four to that. Because you guys okay. did do a ton with your physicality last time. Yes, I have so much stamina. All right. I'm rolling. <laughs> oh, wow. I rolled a 60. A 60? Okay. Well, you, you lift... You two struggle for a moment, but lift the um, lift the door up enough that the other robots um, rush through, and you are instantly almost crushed by the weight of the door. But uh, the other Sith come and help you prop it open enough oh. that it opens up all the way and stays locked. I rolled a forty-one to to perceive them. It looks like they made it. <laughs> I uh, I cheer them on. Good job, guys. The Sith turn around and give you a thumbs down. No, you're the only ones I care about. Come on. Well, the robots have moved on to the next door. Should should we take care of them? They are stabbing with knives. Are there now nice? They have little yet? teeny teeny tiny pizza cutter saws. Oh, they have pizza cutter. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as one of them breaks down, they they just pull out another one from their pocket. Like, <laughs> God damn it! They have over forty pizza cutter saws and a little tool changer on their belt. Does anyone like have a electric grenade? The Sith are very, very silent. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, yeah, what's they, happening? They, what's happening? They shrug. You can understand me, you fucks. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You guys are cool. I'll let it slide. Um, how many droids are there? There are four droids. I would like to try to convince them using the aid of my mouse droid to that I am their master and the the um the short guy is a total poser and he's actually the intruder okay so uh, because that sounds hilarious let's do your uh, inspiration plus your mechanical that was uh, mechanical is just plus six, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so plus ten. D one hundred? Mm-hmm.
71. The beep boops um, go into a huddle, huddle, and they beep boop at each other, but they don't actually have a volume knob. So while they're trying to whisper, it just beep boops at the same volume, and you can hear everything they're saying. And it boils down to, what, is he talking? Have we been wrong this entire time? Jeez, these guys have just been the most helpful people ever. <laughs> We're going to go get the intruder. This is going to be awesome. This guy sucks. <laughs> Let's roll. All right, we're doing great so far. All right, so we they're heading towards the same direction we are, right? Yes. All right, so now I'll even join in on trying to lift the door. So everybody, you know, help help out because I'm a frail bitch. So... Everybody, strength check. Uh, or physicality. Mine is what? Six, I think. I rolled a 43. 77. What'd you get? Neary is not much help. <laughs> uh, all, let's see, how many of you? Um, well, a lot of you all lift up the door and it walks open. And you head down the hall. Now, immediately down the hall is, to the right of you, is the hangar bay. And then forward, more, is the training hall and some other rooms that have remained locked. You never have gone into. Oh yeah, the locked rooms of Mr. Should we try to take care of those now, or should we do that after we kill uh, Snuggly Boo? We all agree that's his name. Like, show of hands, who thinks that's his name? How many How many people raise their hand? Uh, the female Sith raises her hand <laughs> in the background, and one of the uh, one of the master kind of puts it down. <laughs> what about the droids? What do they think? All the droids raise their hand. See, they get it. I think that's a majority. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about you? What about you, Vino? Well, I'm definitely in favor. God, I love this guy. Did we just become best friends? Yeah! Um, okay. So, uh, there, there's my There's my gift that goes alongside with that. <laughs> Case ended. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Okay, um, so we have the hangar... We have... Wait, is that the hangar we came in on, or is that the other... That's S? the hangar you came in on. And we were the only ship in there, right? There was the master ship in there. Ooh. I think at the master... Mouse ship, droid? Like, like Mouse droid. on or activated, right? Uh, you need to duck him in there to see. Ah, fuck. Um, let's... You know what? Let's... I would love to check out one of the empty rooms. Uh, Venom, what do you think? Hmm. Yeah, he could be in one of those. Yeah. So let's cautiously approach the closest uh, locked door. And, um... No. I mean, uh... <laughs> we, we could have uh, Biggie Smalls over here help us out. Mouse droid. Okay. So the mouse droid gets lifted up into place and prepares his blaster. No. Okay. Got whatever. Fine. And blast the door, and the door opens, and then begins opening and shutting at, um, <laughs> no! at about a 50 miles an hour. Can I at least see what's inside the room? Uh, you see what looks like a machine shop. Mm, is it active? Like, is it going? There seems to be um, half-finished droids inside. Uh, let's believe it. Are these more cafeteria droids? These are not cafeteria droids as far as you can see. Hmm. We will need to get back in there at some point because I will need to take some of those parts. But there's no way we can get the door right now. Uh, well, I mean, unless we sacrifice our droids and I don't want to do that. So, um... Beep, 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 boop. Sacrifice? You're not talking about us, right? No, beep, of beep. course not. I never sacrifice you guys. You're amazing. Mouse droid says... Fuck you! You mean me! <laughs> no, I don't mean you either. <laughs> Obviously, I meant... Don't tell her, <laughs> alright? I wink at Aniri and say, like, please God, no. 
Um, and then I, I move on and I head towards the training room in an awkward haze. Okay, so the training room is right across. And you guys have made quite a bit of noise and are continuing to make quite a bit of noise as the door opens and closes at 50 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and so when that door opens, you see the, uh, the master's inside and he turns and looks at you. There is no element of surprise here whatsoever. <laughs> Fucking ever. <laughs> I walk into the room, flip him off and be like, bet you weren't expecting us. We've come here to... Fuck. Attack! <laughs> uh, before you go and attack, though, everybody do a perception check. All right. I'll do that. And since oh, I'm looking oh. at him, I get plus 28. My eye. My special, special eye. Your special eye. If you're using the force here, that counts as one of your force charges for this fight. How could I not use the force of my face? Because that's the rules. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just look uh, at him without using the force. Oh wait, I I I uh, I rolled a, a seventy three. I got a fifty eight. I got a rock. Well, got a roll on bitches. Iniri got a really great one, and she points. Um, she draws her weapons and starts running towards the master neither of you can see what has her so alarmed the sith all run after her are you close behind okay i spaced out for half a second i'm sorry what iniri saw something in what they were doing that uh, freaked her out and ran towards the master and the sith all followed her are you right behind? Yeah. That's uh, like half our... If everybody's going, we're going. Yeah, we gotta yeah. go. Okay. So the master drops what he's doing and brings out his lightsaber. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. And I pull out my Sith saber, like waving it around like... Ooh. Now this Sith saber I'd is... I'd like to roll um, the intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> you can in just a second. Okay. <laughs> but this Sith saber is actually possessed by the spirits of dead force users and can oh, yeah. actually deflect lightsabers just like a vibro sword or another lightsaber so it is um but every time it it hits the blade it moans no i'm just kidding <laughs> it's like that one gun from uh yeah 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 from borderlands from borderlands like that it goes yeah every time you shoot um, but no, no, it's not actually like that. It's just, it's just like speaking evil thoughts into your mind. Well, you guys are all running, so I guess we should roll uh, initiative. And I will get something to write on. Are we doing a D100 for that or just D20? For, uh, for initiative. Yeah, so I'm looking. Um... That's going to be your physicality, so go ahead and roll a D100 for that. I got another four. Just a straight D100? Yep. Oh gosh. I rolled a nine. A nine? That's, that adds your physicality to the roll. Oh. I should <laughs> like, that doesn't even make sense. How did you get that roll? Okay, re-roll. 102. Okay. <laughs> oh my okay. gosh, Scoob. I got 82. That's a big change. Okay. Purr. You got what? 82. 82. I got 102. Oh, you were asking me. Oh, my bad. Okay, and now for the Sith, I'll roll for the Sith. Um, <laughs> Be a lot cooler. 
cooler if we did. Wait, how did one of... What? Hey! <laughs> 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 you dinkly bastard. Alright, which one's the master? I haven't even rolled the master yet. <laughs> oh, because there's all the robots too. I forgot we have so many people on our side. <laughs> it's just like the master, like one guy, and then like this army of people shows up and he's like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is going on? And then I have to order all of them. You shall. Okay. That too shall pass. Okay, what is this uh what is this break time brought to you by Ball? Hmm. Chacaroni pizza can only do so many of these. Um Charles Barkley Beer Belly. Okay. I don't <laughs> No copyrighted music. <laughs> Equally. Okay, finally, the master. Okay, now the order will be Sith number one, then Venom. Yes. Then ball. Sith core. Robot four. Robot one. You apparently got the robots really, really motivated. Yeah, dude, I, I talked them up. Yeah. Rar. XD. <laughs> XD. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> there are quite a few people in this fight right now. Wait, so is it just us versus him? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> so there are well, on your we side. Are. On your side, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen people, oh, yeah, dude. including five droids. Hell yeah. Okay, so the first person to go is Sif number one. This is the injured master, and he double double double. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, he. Uh, books it, force forward, and clashes his sword with the master. And they are holding firm against each other. Venom, it is your turn. You are one movement's distance away. So you can move and attack if you want. Okay. I, I, I would... Get, I think I should use my force uh, pull. Okay. In combination with an attack. Um, how many attacks do you have? Remember, right? You should have two. I have. I have two when I'm using my double blade, which is, I assume, what I'm using. Yeah. Okay. So you have a movement and a attack. With that double bladed. I forget. Um, did, does he just have the double bladed viber blade? Yeah. Or, at okay. this point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You that's have right. The plasma sword. I don't have a plasma. Near, oh, near he has. But here he has sword. the plasma sword. And I yeah, have the yeah. Sith saber because um, everyone else, 
I was worried about Aniri having the the sword because I didn't want her to have like dark visions and become super edgy. So I took it upon myself, and now these ghosts won't stop moaning when I hit things. <laughs> they're Sith. They're horny. You can't tell me that's not what they're doing. Did somebody say horn? Vino, Vino, not now. Not the time or place, but I get you. <laughs> uh, this okay. battle is now interrupted <laughs> by horns. <laughs> the Daniel Radcliffe movie. Uh, Venom, you can move and attack. Once you're mm -hmm. there, though, you can use your force powers and attack. So this first one, you can just move and attack. Okay. Unless you want I will to not stuff. move. Or just, you, just move and use your force powers. Um, I will move and attack. Okay. So that's on a D100, and that adds just my double blade to that? It adds your double bladed and physicality, and if you want, your force. I do have three force chargers per encounter. I do have that noted. I will do so. So my force is 10, my physicality is 16, my double blade is 6, so that's a plus 32. And, oh, the roll, and it's a 54. Let's see what he rolls. He manages to block your first attack. Uh, while still parrying the other person. Your second attack? Second attack. Um, also using the same things? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, this guy just gets oh. sliced up by pizza cutters. That's what gets um, him. 122. 122? <laughs> oh, 122. That's yeah, 122. He got a three. Damn. You just <laughs> yeeted him. Okay. So what's going to happen, because he got critical, <laughs> critical fail, um, is you're going to do your damage, which I believe is a D10, and just maximize it, whatever it was going to be, and then roll a another D100 that's flat, and if you get above an 80, you double the damage. Okay. Um... So, yeah, I guess you do 10 damage and then roll the D100 flat. Um, and if you get above yeah. an 80, you do 20. Okay. So, I'll, yeah, so automatically 10. Um, I'll roll it. Got 29. Okay. So, you just merely do maximum damage. Merely. Merely. And uh, you cut him up across the chest with that second one. He got the, he caught the first strike but didn't see the bottom of your blade. And you cut him across the stomach all the way toward um, up through his face. He is bleeding, but he's still very alive and angry. Ah. Okay. Ball, it is your turn. Um, okay. You have, um... You're still a distance away, so you have to move yeah. and attack if you want so to. So I, I have kind of some options here because I have the mouse right on my shoulder. Um, uh, I have the mouse right on my shoulder, and I also have the blaster. So I could potentially try to do like a volley, um, but I don't know. If you have a mouse right on your shoulder, just a t a, a, have that be an extra attack. Okay. Um, I'll Yeah, I'll do that. I, I run the risk of accidentally hitting like with with deflections the people around him but my blasters are shit so they only do like 1d4 anyway the mouse droids blasters are the real shit though oh god yeah these are blasters that could blow open holes in the wall okay well i'll do a volley of that okay so would you like to fire straight towards the backs of your friends hmm. or go try to go around I think you know it'd be super cool if I like. Ooh, should I waste force on that? No, no. Hold on. Um, I'll uh, strafe to the left behind some cover, so and 
to a place where I can find like a good opening on him. Okay, that should be no problem. You don't need to roll for that. And you are now behind the cover of it, it's very it's flimsy cover, but you're not expecting return blaster fire, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. You're hiding behind a small crate. One of those in KOTOR that kind of spirals down when you open it. Mm -hmm. um, and you can take an attack. Okay. So just go ahead and roll your attack. You're saying attack twice. One for you and one for the droid. I plus... Well, Wait, hold on. first one, do yours, and then add the mechanics to your second well, attack. Well, I'm just right here. My blaster use is 14. Mm -hmm. My perception, I actually don't... Oh, it might be... Huh. I actually think my perception is plus 20 because of my force. Uh, I think that's true. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So, so I'll just do plus 14. I got a 56, uh, but that's for my shot. And am I doing a volley or um, just one that's, shot? Yeah, essentially you take three shots. Okay, so do I roll it three times or just one? No, you'd roll your damage dice three times. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so you he... got an 86, and so he blocks it, and let's see where it goes. 80. Uh, yeah. So it will go towards Venom. You have something headed towards you, but you don't have something to block with. Would you have with. to roll um, to deflect each one towards him, or would he... Because if it's a volley of three... Well, who cares? Who cares? Yeah, never mind. Uh, Vidam, you take one hit from Blaster Bolt. Uh, and that uh. will do uh, two damage. Huh. And the other two bolts okay. go flying out in other directions. Okay. Dare I risk... Um... Too late. <laughs> All right. The mouse droid... Also, I feel like, does it have any aim assist, or is it just like... It is very, blast, blast. It is very new to this weapon. You haven't added any targeting stuff at all. <laughs> so it's basically just my plus 14 then. Plus 14 plus your mechanics. Okay, so that would be plus 6. So I got plus 20 on that one. Okay, well, let's hope that helps. 109. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> uh, he got a 10. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> your your blaster bolt <clears throat> goes, um, two of them go wild, but the first one actually manages to hit him square in the chest, and he gets blasted ten feet backwards. <laughs> and let's see how much damage he takes. Rolling a d10. Five damage. But... He managed to do that Kylo Ren thing where he brings up his arms at the right time and stop, like briefly stops the bolt, but it doesn't do its full damage. Uh, but he is knocked about 10 feet away from you guys, uh, so it's another move and attack to get up to him. Um, I think that's my turn, right? That's your turn. And Sith number four is going to... Take two moves to run up to him. Okay. And robot number four is going to take two moves to run up to him. I believe in you, robot. And robot number one is going to take two moves to run up to him. Wait, wait, wait. Do I know the robot's names? No. Do they have names? No. Well, not as far as you know. If, if you win, I'll name you. You'll be people. Inspiration roll. <laughs> Right, plus four inspiration, hold on. <laughs> 95! Okay, mark this down, so at the end of this battle, if you survive, you'll get a plus two to the inspiration. Oh my god. Um, they are all highly motivated now. Uh, okay. Sith number five is running up towards him. Robot number three is running up towards him. It is the master's turn. So the master 
it whips out towards robot number one and attacks and rolls a 13 plus his stuff so that is a he rolled a 13 that's awesome and the um the robot rolled a 17 and so the master cleaves him in half oh lightsabers do damage fuck that was robot number three correct steve no <laughs> i got a name <laughs> witness me <laughs> okay uh -huh. for the next attack he rolls at robot number four god damn it don't do this carl he rolls a 10 <laughs> and robot number four No. No. It's cleaved in half. No! Chuck! <laughs> You're rolling so poorly. <laughs> okay. And he gets one more attack and cleaves at Sith number four. He rolls a one and critically fails. <laughs> Ooh, does he do damage to himself? I want to know. Um, he whips out of the way and gets an attack from the Sith's uh, Barbara Blade. Which will deal. Uh, it's a D. Do a D four on that one. I guess I can. Yeah. Deals three damage to it, uh, cutting him across the chest. And he his turn is over. Robot number three. Rushes up to him. Yes. Sith number two rushes up to him. Robot number two rushes up to him. Robot number five rushes up to him. It is now Sith number one's turn. And he runs up and takes an attack. He rolls a 69. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. And in defense, the master rolls a 13 and takes damage. So let's say in roll number D4. Takes two damage. Okay. That is Sith number one. It's Vina, it's your turn. You can move up to him and attack. That is what I shall do. I'm mourning the loss of my robot brothers. And uh, I will I will use my force pull this time in my attack. Okay. So, so yes, yes. Does that add my force automatically, or do I have that to add that on top of it? Yeah. That automatically has it. Yeah, but in this case, okay. you won't be able to move because you're using your force power instead of moving. This still counts as dueling, which I forgot to add last time. Um, onto my roll. Um, do I add physicality? Um, for your attack, not for the force power. Okay. So for the force power, I will I will roll. It's your force plus or... your skill and that force power. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what I have set. And we'll roll. 37. Okay, let's see. <laughs> well, let me just tell you that the master has a plus 30 on his force, and he rolled a 2. So, uh, go ahead and... Um, Dude, this guy sucks. He, he gets pulled towards you. And you slash him, and you do maximum damage. Okay. Um, on both your attacks. Because you're, excellent. Yeah, and so that would be twenty damage, plus roll mm -hmm. a D, flat D one hundred twice, and if you get above eighty, double the damage for one of them. Okay. I rolled an eighty nine. 
Okay. And a 37 again. Okay, R roll that 89 again and see if you add another um, another double to it. Um, so just roll the D100 again? Yes, and if it's above a 70 this time, you double the damage. 16. Well, you still got enough to keep the damage, so it is 30 damage to him, and a quick 1-2, and um, yeah, uh, his hair is a lot shorter. You have, in fact, cleaved off a portion of his skull, and... X. Bro, did you just kill this dude? He's, no, he's still alive. <laughs> he has a weak spot. It's just only, tis but a flesh wound. Damn. Tis but a bald spot. Tis... Um, he doesn't have superior horns. Uh, that's right. Like Your me. He's not bald. He has horns. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't have any tattoos yet. I forgot about that, too. Yeah. Okay, so that was uh, Vietnam's turn. It was phenomenal. It's phenomenal! No! <laughs> uh, hey, some, somehow we mixed we the two most obnoxious Eminem songs into your name. <laughs> the the phenomenal and then the venom one. Venom. 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 <laughs> okay, ball, it's your turn. Thanks. Show if you show us if you have one or two. <laughs> show us your moves. <laughs> yeah. Um I would like to do if I could do another perception check. Um, and I'd like to use, like, force perception. Because I know he was in the middle of something. Mm -hmm. But I feel like he's surrounded by people. And I'm not in any particular danger. And I feel like the people around him have a pretty... Like, I don't even know where Aniri is. Uh, but I'd like to do a force perception check. Interestingly it... enough, she's not actually in the list. God damn it. Where's Aniri? Okay, a force perception. <laughs> so, I said a plus 20. Mm -hmm. Four. 38, god damn it. So you project yourself forward into the room, and you notice that the master is very, very flustered. He seems to be losing control of the situation, and you have no idea where Aniri is. So she might be just leaving. I don't know. Maybe. God. She took the egg She's and she jetted. She's secretly scathing. She took the egg and she jetted. I'm so pissed. <laughs> Chuck and Steve died today while Aniri's just messing around. Searching for clues. Okay, you can move or attack. <laughs> um, I will repeat what I just did. The, the, the firing another okay. volley. So I'll start with mine first. So it's just a plus uh, for 14. And then the droid is the one that has the plus one. 76. Uh, you hit him. So that is three, the, uh, 3d4s. Three one. Three. three. Five. Five damage. Okay, next attack. 20. 30. Fuck. Well, he's been rolling pretty low. So... What did you get? 30. He rolls higher. <laughs> How much did he get? Uh, can't reveal that. <laughs> he got 105, didn't he? No. Otherwise, all three would be going right back at you. Um, How could he deflect that bolt? <laughs> it's it, it's not even like a... You could do it in KOTOR. I hate you. <laughs> okay. So, what? how much higher? Is it enough to reflect the bolts back towards me, or to the people around? No, I, I get to roll to see which okay. direction it goes to. Well, thankfully, it goes in none of your directions. Does he is he able to deflect it like well, or does he kind of stagger from it? And it goes way off towards the ceiling, blow chunks in the ceiling. Okay. Um, that is your turn. Yeah. I just so, I just can tell. Well, I think the best information that my character got from this is that I can't fucking see Aniri anywhere, and that worries me. Sith number four 
is um, going to roll a perception check. Wait, why? And he's not going to perceive anything. Mm-hmm. And he's going to spend the rest of his turn attacking the master. Roll, say, 41. So the master deflects his attacks. Okay. Robot number one is going to make his first attack. Just roll up to him and make his first attack with the with, with the, the pizza, pizza cutter. I believe in you. Unfortunately, these guys, whatever they get for an attack, is flat. So they don't get any bonuses. He gets a forty-nine. Let's see it. The master blocks with a twenty-two plus his bonus. Which is enough to block the pizza cutter. <laughs> well, I mean, wait, 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 wait. I'm the imagining, pizza cutter yeah. comes down and blocks with it. And he it just... <laughs> they're having it's, like a small beam vibranium. struggle. <laughs> it's vibranium pizza cutters. Could I use... Vibranium. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Could I use the force to use the second force use of the day uh, to, to aid him? Um... Or am I too far away to do that? Uh, if you prepared it in in advance, oh, okay. Um, like like a battle meditation thing, if you prepare it in advance, you can help their rolls with your. First oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I could do. Um, the robot is uh, very close to dealing damage, but it does not. Sith number five rolls perception and perceives nothing. And makes his attack against the master. And rolls a critical fail. Oh, so the master cuts him in half. No! I didn't know his name. Wait, is the female Sith still around? Female Sith is still there. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Um, Zaps his fingers at him. It's the master's turn. Well. The master is going to take a swing at robot number two. Hello, I'm the Dwarf King. <laughs> That's what you sound like. Wait, is, is he swinging? Robot number uh, number two is cut in half. No! Donna, no. <laughs> Donna! <laughs> okay. He makes a second attack. Against Why Robert do all these three? robots no, have no, old white people names? You leave Donna. Not wait, not Donna. Fuck. Uh, Felix. Uh, uh, Felix alone. Okay, robot number three. Felix, Felix. is going to um, master rolls a eleven. Come on, come on. And Felix rolls a six. I would like to use. Felix gets cuts in cut in half. No! <laughs> There's one more robot left. Two more robots left. <laughs> um, master goes to a- attack Sith number two, which is the female Sith. I will kill him <laughs> if he hurts this one. Um, and he rolls for an attack. A critical fail. <laughs> and um, the Sith gets an attack on him. And deals uh 10 damage. Damn. Um, he goes, um, Hi-ya. can I get your number? It's you. <laughs> well, I didn't know he was he was going to be the horniest one in this fight. <laughs> Dude. That's the, me. The thing is, Damn. the thing is, when you're that small, <laughs> all boobs look bigger. Huh. All right. It, it, you know, it's just bigger for I can't I argue with that. Right. You know Logic. What? I appreciate you. Um, okay, but do you respect masters. him? Uh, no, I, you. <laughs> that is the master. Me. Turn. Yes. Is uh, my turn? Not quite. It is Sith number two. No. Sith number two is going to see if she can get her revenge. And rolls a fifty-seven. The master, of course, rolls a seventy-four. Um, and manages to block her attack. All right. But she hasn't moved. She gets a second. And rolls a 26. 
All right. Master rolls a six to seven and blocks her attack. All right. Uh, robot number five is going in with his tiny, tiny pizza cutter saw. Albatross, you can do this. Albatross. <laughs> Griffith. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Gypsy danger! <laughs> Gypsy danger. Okay. He rolls a 14. Gypsy danger. Uh, the master blocks the first attack. Here comes the second attack. 56. Okay. Against the Masters. Critical fail. Yes! <laughs> I knew you could do a Gypsy Danger. You're my favorite. Don't tell the others. <laughs> the only other one. Uh -huh. And there goes, aww. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> God damn it. Me finding humor in knowing I'm the best. <laughs> he deals a, a six damage. How, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he did more damage with that tiny pizza cutter. Yes. Made of, like, plastic than I did with my blaster. Well, the pizza cutter is made of metal, serrated, and also operating at 10,000 RPM. I shot an... You know what? I'm just going to be happy for him. <laughs> uh, it is Sith number one's turn. Sith is going to roll perception. And critically fail. Nandeo. So, uh, yeah, he is going to take a swing at the closest thing nearby as he's disoriented, which <laughs> just happens to be wait, Ball. Wait, that Ball is wait, a Venom. Wait, 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 wait. In the middle of the fight, he's just like... Uh -huh. he, he derps and turns out to attack Venom. He had a, he had a brain aneurysm. Uh, let's see. Can you beat a 57 Venom? Can you beat Venom at all? Phenomenal. <laughs> nothing, nothing can beat Venom. So, uh, um, this is just requiring my physicality. Yeah. And my dual blade. Yeah, and your and your dual blade. Yeah. And my double blade. Yeah. Mama. There goes my man. Eighty-eight. Damn. Yeah. Rawr. Hey, bro, stop. You managed to my block friend, it. Though. And that is the end of his turn. Stop messing with my friend, man. Uh, Venom, it's your turn. Haha. <laughs> okay. I will attack using the same things. I will not use my force power this time. So. 73. You hit. So... Uh, roll your d10. Or was it... Was it a d10 with the double-bladed? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, then just do that from there. Four. Okay, second attack. Alright, so I rolled the d100 again. Mm -hmm. 116. Boom. Well, not that it matters. What, what was the... Um, what's your bonus? To the attack. So it's like plus what? What's my bonus on the roll? Yeah. 32. Damn. Okay, so it's not quite a crit. Um, well, you managed to, uh, you managed to hit him, so roll another d10. Seven. Okay. Uh, you cut him up another one. And ball is your turn. Haha. <laughs> um, I will do uh, another perception check. Um, but I would also like... Okay. So I, I'd like to break down. I want to do a perception check, but I also want to run... Um, actually, you know what? The two things I want to do this turn are a perception check, but then I also want to set the mouse droid up as, like, take him off of my shoulder and put him as, like, a turret right here. Setting him up as a turret will take one action. And then uh, perception will take one action, yeah. right? So that's what I want to do with my turn. Um, so I'll do the perception first. The, um, the mouse droid will move right after you. In that case. 24 perception. 
that's what it... I was trying to do a perception check on the room. Ah, well, um, you notice less than before. Or wouldn't I gain, like, no information? Just any... yeah, Essentially no information. Okay, so that, that's fine. So now um, I'm setting up the droid right there. And the droid is very happily screaming blood for the blood god and takes another pot shot. Okay. So that would be plus 20, and I'd be 100. Mm -hmm. 108. Bro, I, I do really well with rolls. Critical fail. Oh, bro, he got hit right in the head. He got 30 damage. Boom. <laughs> Um, and he got hit in the chest and knocked 30 feet backwards into a wall. And he had dro has dropped his lightsaber. He's I, still I, alive. Can I do an, an opportunity thing where I try to force Paul's lightsaber? Um, no. Fuck. Sith number four is going to attempt to pull his lightsaber. God damn it. Wait, is this the hot one? I didn't Sith ask if it was four. the female one. I asked if it was the hot one. No, uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, roll the 17. I'm the hot one. We know. And the 17 rolls the... The, uh, the lightsaber starts to kind of roll across the floor towards him. Mm -hmm. Robot number one rushes forward to try to attack. This isn't Gypsy Danger. This is the unnamed one, right? Unnamed one. Okay. All right, Venom, you got to name this one. I, I'm trying to decide on the name. So much pressure. <laughs> Kenobi. Uh, we'll, we'll, because Under Pressure just came into my head, <laughs> we will go with Bowie. Yes. Very good. You can do it, Bowie. Okay. Bowie moves up to him. Rolls a 75. Master on the ground. Warming his hands to defend him. Rolls a 36. And so, the pizza cutter does 10 damage. His, uh, his left arm is actually hanging off his body now. You have almost cleaved it in half. The little pizza cutter went uh -huh. meow, and uh, almost cut his arm off. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's the master's turn. Master gets up, clutches, clutching his arm, and unleashes a wild bolt of lightning, which is going to uh, attack Venom, robot number one, which is Bowie, and the female Sith. How dare he. And he rolls... Oh boy. Is that like versus everyone in that range or is he doing versus it? Versus like... everyone in that range. He is okay. not he's not very well good at targeting at the moment. He's got his arm cut off. Um Bowie rolls an eight. No. And gets fried. No. Not Bowie. Lifted off the lifted off the ground and flung into the opposite wall. How much health do I have? You haven't really gotten hit very much. Well, no, just in general. I think I only have 10 HP. <laughs> um, wait, who had the armor? Ball had the armor. Not Ball. Venom had the armor, right? Or did I yeah, have the armor? I think, I think Venom had it, because he's the physical fighter. Venom, did you... Do you have the do you have the full armor set? There should I have been one armor set that was left over from the last episode. If you don't have anything on that, uh, this is this is like staying. Was I wearing it last time? You should have been. Either you took it off before the duel, or you had it on. 
um, because we definitely took it. Because I, I had the sword, mm -hmm. and you took the armor, I think, and it was like kind of samurai-esque armor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do believe I'm wearing it then. Okay, just go ahead and put the armor value, since this is very, very ancient armor that has not been worked on or anything, or fitted, then go ahead and re have it say that it will reduce all damage by two. Okay. So the two damage I should have taken, or I took earlier? Yeah, that'll be negated. Okay. I'm a fool. Okay. Now that was whose turn? Um. So on my turn, it knocked him back. Um. But I think it was on. He unleashed the bolt of lightning this turn. That's on right. on his turn. Yeah. And so, so now it goes back. Now into it's rotation. going towards um, Venom. Um. So that was a twenty-eight. Um, plus his force. So I'll just reveal that as this last one. That is a 50 um, that you need to beat. And you can include your force in this if you want to resist it. That for me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will include my force. Um, anything else I should include? My dueling? This is, in this case, it would be dueling because you have a weapon that can resist lightsabers that also resist force lightning. So, okay. Um, so, yes. Yeah. 107. <laughs> you catch it and then end up um, guiding some of the lightning across the floor, making a really wicked um, burn on the ground. Boy, it's fucking wicked, you know? And the last one was at Sith number two, the Thune Monster. Let's see how she does. She got a four. I will put my life on the line. <laughs> she gets hit by the lightning and um, gets blasted across the room, and you don't know her status. She she's she's out of struck. Huh? Huh? Thunderstruck? Indeed. Indeed. I hate you a little bit. <laughs> but um, uh, robot number five, it's his turn, and he is going to take a double attack with his meat cleaver. Gypsy, Gypsy Danger. Gypsy Danger, the last rope pot. Oh God, I prepare to pull him out of harm's way. Twenty-two against the Masters. One, one, one. Yep, Master avoids it. I believe. Next you. attack. Seventy-six. All right, let's see the what we can do, boy. Critical fail. Oh my God, I love this guy. <laughs> And he gets 10 damage and saws off the rest of the master's arm. Ah. <laughs> I'm giving this guy a sticker. Master's on his knees now. Uh, but blood spurting, but still kind of alive. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sith number one is going to try to use the force on the, on the uh, lightsaber again. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. And the Sith um, rolls his force and rolls a 21, which rolls the thing close enough for him to pick it up and ignite it. Okay. He is then going to laugh maniacally and swing it at Venom. What? Rar. He rolls a 42. It's not very good. Right now, they're all, I'm not giving them any bonuses because of the hyper safe uh, fitness. So, 42 versus your dueling and your double bladed and your physicality. Oh, shit. Hold on. You can add your force to it if you want. <laughs> but that might be your last charge. Oh, no. Yeah, that's why I don't want to use it. Um, so I will not add any of the other things, but I will use the others that you listed. 
66. Okay, you managed to block it, and um, you are in a saber struggle. So you're, you're saber locked with him. Let's see. Take it. Venom, it is your turn. The Sith is okay. looking at you crazily. Okay, I will. I'm just going to use what I just used to attack him. And remind me what that is. Physicality, dueling, double bladed. Okay, yeah. So, roll 118. <laughs> What's your bonus to that? 32. Okay. He rolls a 53. <laughs> so, um, roll, uh, roll your first attack damage. <laughs> One. <laughs> no! Okay, and then go ahead and roll your second attack. Three. Like a flat three? Oh, no, is that... This is, no, this not is damage. damage. This is to... This is damage. Oh, this... I should have rolled a D100 again. Oh, yeah. oh, so he wasn't rolling for damage. He was rolling for... Yeah. Okay. Okay, so after my 118 roll, should I have, I rolled the 1 on the d10. That was the right thing to do? Um, this next one, you're, you're aiming your second attack from the double-bladed. Okay, so I'll roll the d100. 99. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he rolls a 97. <laughs> so you managed to hit him again, so uh, go ahead and do your damage. Okay, so that's the D10. Mm -hmm. Four. Okay, you cut him twice across the chest in an X pattern. How many and, cuts uh, have I given him across the chest? No, no, no. This is I, am this I aim that has the lightsaber now. Yeah. Unless you wanted to aim those towards the master for some reason, instead of the guy. No, that no. Locked with. No, no. I'm, I'm definitely aiming it at that. Okay, so Punk. you have one more attack if you want. You can use the force, or you can do another basic attack. Which, with double bladed, would mean you get to attack twice. Yes, I will do another double bladed attack. So the same stuff. 76. Okay. He rolls a 51, so go ahead and roll your damage. 6. Okay, uh, you cut him across the arm, and his arm is just about falling off. He uh, drops his lightsaber uh -huh. and goes to catch it in his other hand, roaring, uh, roaring loudly. And he manages to catch it in his other um, hand backwards. So now your next attack, your, your uh, second double blade attack. Seventy nine. He rolls a 55, and it doesn't matter what damage you do next time because you just lob off his head. Ha ha ha. And that is the leader, Sith. And now it is just you, Venom, uh, Ball, Mouse Droid, Sith number four, which everybody seems to have forgotten about, the Master, and Robot number five, which is going in for a kill with its um, robot arm again. So, w do you guys want to stop combat here, or do you want to keep attacking him? Um, where am I in the position? Uh, you are next. So, the Master's got his arm cut off, slumped on the ground, is he semi-unconscious, or is he... He is um, grievously injured and slowly losing consciousness. But he's bereft of a weapon, and then the person that had the lightsaber, is he disabled right now? Or... He had his head cut off. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that guy anymore. Um, so, um... What I would like to do is... 
two things. I would love... Did Venom... First of all, did Venom take the lightsaber? It's still on the ground. Okay. What I would like to do, hopefully my acrobatics will allow me to do this, is I'd like to do a sick jump, like force pull the lightsaber and land, and I want to do the thing that Dooku... The hat, like you know, the Anakin did <laughs> yes. to Dooku, where I'm holding it, let mm-hmm. both the Sith saber and the thing over here. But before I want to do that, I want to do a force perception check because I want to check on the the Sith that got knocked away, they hit by the, the lightning bolt. But I also want to check on what's happening with the Neary. So I know that's a lot, but okay. like, so how so should the I? The jump is one force point. Mm-hmm. It's one action. The pulling, the uh, doing the awesome, sick move when you're when you're like you got him in submission mm-hmm. is the second and the force perception is another one could i just do a regular perception check that still will count as one as action. a as a force one it wouldn't count as a force one but it would count as one action okay um okay here's what i'll do that i want to do that but i'll probably try to tell venom be like hey I'll figure out what's going on with people so uh, let me let me try to roll through and see if i can even accomplish what i'm trying to do here Okay, so how many how many force? Um... I only have two left. Okay, because I have four per day, or four for combat is how we were doing it, mm-hmm. and I used two earlier to do uh, two perception checks, um, and that didn't fucking help at all, because <laughs> it was supposed to be I didn't even do it correctly because it was supposed to be, um, uh, it was supposed to be the plus twenty for force, and then a plus something else for my perception, so but I. Couldn't even yeah. remember because I don't have the perception roll written down, mm. so I'm I'm just dumb. I think I'm pretty sure that your perception roll is your force roll because you have the force sight. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because so I, <laughs> I have force perception. I have force perception. No, I do have it written down. It's plus twenty for force perception, plus fourteen on force rolls. Okay, there we go. And then I have force vision. Okay, I see, I see. So I have so physicality, um, and then force roll. So that's plus six, plus 14, and then I have plus eight on a force jump. So that'd be 28 for okay. this for the first move. 28, because I can do, see if I can do my sick jump. 74. You pull off the sick jump. All right. Um, in the middle of that jump, I want to, like, force pull and, like, land and do the move that Anakin did to okay. Dooku. Yeah. Um, so what would I need to do? What would be bonuses for that? Um... Your force pull and your general force. Okay, so I have plus 10, so that'd be 24. It would be just those two? Yeah. Okay. Wait, are you are you a single blade user? No, I'm double blade, but I'm not making an, an attack. I'm just putting them to his neck. Okay, yeah, then, then just that. 75. Uh, then you have now successfully done a sick jump and a sick move. I did a sick jump. I did a flip in the air, and I grabbed it, and I pulled the saber out. I grabbed a lightsaber, and it was, a and it was okay, cool. Um, and then I uh, I look over at Venom. Hey, Venom, uh, can you check on everybody? I need to know who's still alive. Also, where's Aniri? I think that's the right question. And then I uh, look over back at, um, <laughs> I look back over at the master, uh, and I probably do some Christian Bale thing. Where I'm like, oh, do you want to get the other force? Where are the Padawans? The master faints. Um, you know what would so be really do funny? do a physicality roll to see if you accidentally cut off his head. <laughs> I was just about to <laughs> physicality so that's uh plus six okay god this is gonna be like a one you have to get better than a 49 okay 78 never mind so you uh, manage to bring your blades out of the way as he faints and starts bleeding out on the floor um uh i feel like we need information from him but he just killed like half our people. Uh, can I search for a data pad? To search his body? Yeah. 
Um, perception check. All right. And you guys are officially now. out of combat, so you can use four scrolls as much as you want. Okay. Uh, so so for a perception, would it just be force perception, and would I add the plus fourteen onto it for a force roll, or would it just yeah. be a flat twenty? Your, your force roll. And whatever you have is a perception check, which okay. in your case is 20. So it would be a 34 total. Yeah. Bon okay. Let me redo that one. 106. Uh, what are you looking for specifically? I'm looking for a data pad and maybe any other useful stuff. You go through his belongings and you find a single data pad and a... In a let's see a single I don't know what they call it in Star Wars but essentially you get a uh, credit chip that is um, intensely marked with the dark side you get a coin you get a sick coin no the credit chips themselves carry a, um, an undetermined amount oh, okay. so the re credit chip might be worth 2,000 or it might be worth 10 all right well it's mine now um, I'm the money guy I have money Actually, okay, so what technically, else I am the richest person here. Uh, what else do you want to do? As everything calms down, you also hear in the background the door going. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what Venom wants to do. I'll probably let him decide what he wants to do. I'll, all I'm going to do is check on everybody else. So, Venom, if you want to do anything important. I think I'm just following your lead, my friend. Mm, okay. okay, well, who are you going to check first? Um, I, I feel like Aniri isn't in danger, so I'll probably try to identify where the, the Sith female is. Sith female is against a wall, and it appears as though she might be bleeding out. Do I have any force skill? Uh, I... You should have force skill. Yeah. And Aniri um, does also. I like a plus to force skill or something like that. I didn't really have a very good version of it. Um, so I'll just remember to write that down. Um, I got, sorry, I got a notification um, uh, from, from a dating website that said, hey, you got a new match. This person has sent you, but it had a name of the sister of the person I used to be dating Mm. on there and I'm like oh my god did I like them no <laughs> okay That's okay a different, different person but it was still like oh my god no triggered yeah no I was I was about to have a heart attack um okay so I'll I'll try to force heal but um hey Vina yeah, yeah can you figure out where the fuck Aniri is because we just lost half our yes. people and she disappeared. Alright. I will I will run and search. Okay. So how do you want to handle the action stuff for that? Okay, so do your heal check first. Because the stuff with Aniri is gonna be important. I only have like a plus two. But since he's doing it, it'll probably be only like a thing with Venom since I'm over here trying to do first aid, right? Yeah. First date or first date, am I right? <laughs> so it's plus 15. 56. No, 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 no reaction no, I, I that. Actually like that. You dog. managed to heal <laughs> enough to um, stop the bleeding. Uh, you'll need to bandage them up and use a med kit, but they will probably live. Okay. I'm going to be focused on that. So if we need to shift to the important stuff, that this is a Venom thing. Shifting to the important stuff, Venom looks around the room, and you notice that Iniri is around one of the corners in cover. And you angrily approach to see why she was not part of the fighting. And you see that she's clutching the egg. The egg, which is shining and full. My egg. My Stuff. special egg. Yes. It appears to be almost melding into her fingers. And she appear. it looks almost like she's having a seizure. 
Uh, I would do a force perception. Okay. I will do this. Um, so that's just my force combined with perception. One hundred and thirteen. That was a nat ninety-five. That is a um, critical success. Then, um, you, you, when you originally found this, you were able to find out that this is a force-sensitive object. This particular object is attacking her mentally at the moment. And when you uh -huh. peer, into the, um, in peer, peer into the object with your force, you sense that whatever the master had been doing, it appears as though it had been injected with quite a bit of um, malice. And it appears as though the will of the device has been influenced by that and is now trying to attack her mind. Miri, on the other end, has been trying to inject a um, sort of a peaceful, good um, light side side of that. And she seems to be losing the struggle. So you can, uh, and any one of uh, the other force users in the room can help her in that struggle um, by using your force. Or you could let her die. That's too, that too. Yes, we'll howl. Uh, are you going to inform Paul about this? Yes. But how... I guess it's hard for me to gauge right now how critical this is to intervene right in this moment. Okay. Should so, I try to intervene? Um, or should I... You got a perfect perception roll. So you realize that you probably have um, three, essentially three force checks before her mind is broken by this force creature. So it is critically important for you to involve. And now okay. Paul can get across the room to help you in the last force check. Okay. Then I will. I will start doing that now. In this case, we are going to do a, um, go ahead and roll your force roll, D100. Mm -hmm. And, and I also you... have it noted that I have a dark force power that's a separate plus two. Should I use that in this um, In this situation? case, you're trying to help her create an equilibrium within the device. So you could use, um, you could use good force power if you uh, if you want, or you could use dark force power, but you're not sure what direction that will take it. Okay, then I guess I will approach neutrally for now. And roll. Yeah. Ninety. Jeez, high rolls. Ninety. Okay, let's see what Mary gets. Yeah. She gets a seventy, and the device gets. Uh, what did you get? You got a 90? Mm-hmm. Okay. You succeed the first roll. Uh, but by about 10 points only. Adding your two force checks together. The second check now. So go ahead and roll your thing again. 103. <laughs> My god. Okay. I think it's hilarious that my, like, I keep getting high rolls on this D100, but, like, low rolls on my D10. <laughs> yes. Miri gets a 13. So what did you get? Is that 100 and something? Three. 103. Okay, so you got... Uh, 116 total, and let's see what the what the creature gets. Creature gets 102. So you succeed the second one, and Ball, you are here for this next one. 
to try to help save Mary. Mm. Are you going to get involved? Um. I'm aware, like, I can see what's happening in front of me, but I have no fucking clue what's going on, so I have to spend an action turn trying to do a perception check. Um, would my force vision allow me to see anything just looking at what's happening, or would or would the situation be kind of clouding my vision? Well, let's see. Uh, or would I be able to inform... Vinam, go ahead and give a one-sentence information to... Uh, to Ball about what's happening here that he will use to try to figure out what to do. Yeah. Uh, the egg is trying to... Uh, is trying to overpower Aniri right now. Okay. Um, can I sense what Aniri is doing to kind of fight it? You can. Um, you can sense it enough to know that you need to try to aid her in what she's doing. So you can do a force aid check. So just add, like, a roll your force. Um, check mm -hmm. like you would do doing a force power and then we'll add that into the final push okay so I'll just plus four please ninety four okay V9 what did you get oh uh, was that supposed to be the same roll I'm sorry uh, ro yeah go ahead same roll roll again forty five 45. Okay. Uh huh. And here comes Aniri. 73. All, what is this, all that? All three together? I am bad at math, so I'm going to ask him. <laughs> I, I don't know either. Uh, what were the numbers? Sorry, I have 45. 94, and what did he use after? One hundred and eighty-two. One hundred and eighty-two. Let's see what the uh, creature gets. One hundred eighty-four. You said. Well, the creature gets One, two. One eighty-two. Yikes. And so uh, Amiri breaks off and drops the egg. But now the egg is tuned slightly more towards the dark side than light. Just keeping that into perspective for later events. The egg appears to be dormant now, and Neri seems to be recovering from um, a seizure-inducing event. Um, I, I gotta run to Aniri. I gotta use some sort of force heal or just try to do something to figure out what's going on with her. Okay. Force heal! That's obviously better than my last two. So 98. Okay. Um, you help calm her mind with a sweeping bit of um, good force energy. You are not a crazy bitch. <laughs> you say that out loud and she kind of like confusedly goes uh, uh, what? See, it worked. <laughs> and the robot uh, Gypsy Danger uh, revolves over to you and like, beep, 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 boop. Is she alright? Yes, Gypsy. Don't worry. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. And he goes over and starts um, he goes over and starts cutting the head off of the um, like cutting into the head of the Sith leader. Jesus Christ! Like, like cutting it apart. No, no, Gypsy, not now. Beep, 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 Sith cookies. No, not now. Sith cookies. Cookie cookies. We will take some for later. Calm down. Mm. We have Sith guests. We can't do that in front of them. Ha ha ha. 
Okay. Um, okay, so now the, the, the only thing left is the master is rapidly bleeding out. So you know, we need to decide what to do should with him. We, should we save him? Like, I could cauterize his wound and just leave him here, or we can interrogate him. Like, what do you want to do? I say we put a blade inside of him and interrogate him. So we can't, uh -huh. we can't kill him if he's dead. I never said it would be fatal. Just so extra we pain. Have to, like, save him first, and then, like, torture him. But if he wakes up, he's gonna be pissed. And he, like, lightning bolted us. So, do we, like, restrain mm. him? What do we do? He's also missing the top part of his head. So, like, I, I don't know how we're gonna save him here. Because, like, I can, like, ma I can I can make a Neary kind they of feel Darth better. They Malik by, um, by grafting some piece of metal to his head. Okay, but, like, well, they had medical droids. I have a fucking pizza cutter and a mouse droid <laughs> who I'm fairly certain is actually, like, a homicidal maniac. There's no... I, I can, like calm people down and and like aid light wounds beep beep boop it's a me mario i'm just gonna kill him i don't care anymore <laughs> so, kill? so i want to i want to try something so i want to take the sith blade um and i want to kill him with the sith blade interesting choice Do it. you stab him Do with it. the sith blade and you can feel um parts of his force essence be drawn away from the greater force ether and into the blade. Fuck yeah, bro. The blade now deals one additional damage plus whatever you're going to get on the dice roll. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and that stacks. So if you kill anyone else with force uh, potential, that'll add a plus one. Sweet. Cool. 1d6 plus 3. Which I don't think we were actually, well, we were even do it. I have not killed, since I've gotten the saber, I have not killed anyone <laughs> with it. Because I've been doing the blaster shit. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now everything's really tied up and you can uh, focus on healing yourselves back to full power. Yeah, I totally needed to worry about that. You know, all the zero damage I took. <laughs> um, okay. So, I... And probably going to focus on trying to healing that Sith and, and taking care of that. So do we know if there's a med bay in this area? Uh, there are locked doors. Let's just take the Sith chip. Let, let's just go to... The, okay. So... You'll have to take a while to go through the chip to see what's in the data pad. Yeah. So it's, it's the two Sith left. There's one normal warrior Sith, and then there's the injured female Sith, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, can they communicate with us? Like, because they, they said can. they're common. They can. Um, the normal Sith is kind of kneeling over the body of his uh, leader, and you don't know whether or not he's mourning or grinning wildly. Hey, big guy. You good? We good? Like, do you want to, like, come with us? Do you know how to fly a ship? Do you know how to cook? Like, what's up? He quickly looks up at you. Looks down at his weapon. Give him a thumbs up. Looks at your lightsaber. And runs out of the room. Okay, but I'm taking, like, the girl, though. <laughs> I'm he I'm leaves the girl I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, um... Okay, uh, uh, hey, Aniri, you're better at, like, first aid. Could you go try to figure out what's going on with the one that got lightning bolted? Okay. She's kind of limping across the room and then goes to force heal, which I'm not going to really. It uh, force heal stabilizes the person and starts to heal the flesh wounds. This person will probably either need months of recovery or a back to pain. Uh, okay. Then we have back that we know. So, well, the only back to tank that we had was crushed under rock fall. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so we have the robot, we have Aniri, uh, we have this unconscious person. Um, and so whatever the other Sith is doing at the moment. Yeah, so I'm I'm just going to I'm I'm, I'm assuming he's running to the ship probably. So at the very least, I'm guessing I'm going to I'm going to go on uh Bale's intuition and just say I have never once been healed here. I kind of just slept until my body stopped hurting. I'm guessing they're probably going to have a- any of the actual medical technology is going to be on the ship. So I'm going to pick up the injured person and then I'm going to bring them. I'm going to start heading towards the ship. You open up. Well, let's first of all, let's roll. Okay. Seven. Well, you, um, You open up. You open up the door to the hangar. Everybody follows you, and there's the Sith. He's gotten the boarding uh, thing to come down, but he's trying to pry open the door to the Sith, uh, to the master ship, and he can't quite get it open. I'm sitting. I'm standing there, like holding the person, like, "Yo, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what does he do when he sees us?" Looks over at you. He starts hacking at it. <laughs> I give him a thumbs up. No, buddy, we're good. We're good. Turns around. Thumbs down. I would like to... Back his sword. I would like to persuade him. Inspiration. Okay, I've got a plus six. So... Okay, so D100 plus six? Yeah. Should I... Should, wait, no, I can't do fours. That'd be fucked up. 56. Um, he stops um, slashing against the door and instead continues trying to pry it open. Venom seems can, to be calmer. Can you, like, figure out... Aniri, do you got any idea? First of all, Venom, do you have any idea how to calm this person? Kill? Um, no, no. No. Uh, hmm. I could use my physicality to hold them down. <laughs> no, Venom, don't take your shirt off. No. I don't wear a shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. The only part my you horns... remember you weren't wearing was the chest plate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. I just have a chest plate. You've just been naked this entire time. <laughs> But you're naked under all those clothes, but you can't even see it. <laughs> okay, um... Fuck. Let's see. So the thing to do, do now is to try to figure out, um, you, you take the master ship, you go through the data pad and try to reprogram the shuttle. What are you going to do? Um, so here's the dilemma. The master ship is probably, and speaking from my vast experience of traveling the stars and all of this shit. Also, I'm dumb and presumptuous. So I'm looking at these things and I'm thinking, we were on a shuttle, getting from place to place. This is this is like an interplanetary shuttle. Well, not an interplanetary. This is something that will travel well across the surface of a planet pretty well. It doesn't have a faster than light drive. Yeah. So it can it can go to other planets. It's just very slow. So if I'm looking at the master ship, like size comparison, like visually, what does it look like? About three times as large. It looks... I'll have to find an image for you exactly. But it looks like a big rectangle, essentially. It is one block. You know, you know it's, it's actually like... Oh, what's that? The, um, he was in the Clone Wars. He's that lizard dude. His ship. Mm-hmm. It kind of looks like his ship. 
I'll have to find out his name mm. and add it for the next episode, but yeah. Um, Trask? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, no, I know who you're talking about. I remember that ship. Um, that would make sense. Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh okay. So, from my estimation, this is going to be our best bet of any kind of interaction. Um, the Master's dead. Um, I need to look at his data pad to figure uh-huh. out how to get onto this ship. Um, at the very least, just to get to any kind of the medical equipment. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, searching through the data pad, you find out several very interesting things. Is there any information on you? Or you none? Um, I don't care about the others. He seems to regard you as his most frustrating pupils because he was you two were the ones he was reading the least for. <laughs> we just came ah. in and fucked up his whole operation. Uh, Idiri <laughs> was uh, one of the ones he thought he could turn easiest. And he noted in the last few seconds that the egg is vitally important, but he seems to have finished the log just before you guys arrived. Um, in case he cut off. There is <gasps> other things about the contents of the other doors. There is a, like you saw earlier, a machine shop. There is a medical center that is in essentially essentially it's in disrepair at the moment and there is another warehouse that is locked that he does not have access to and he didn't try to use the lightsaber to get in no well it appears as though he has it you don't know why um there is a password locked entry though You'll have to use your mechanic, mm. your, your slicing ability to get through. Okay. I should probably go and collect my mouse droid at some point. Mouse droid is beeping around your, um, hey, your feet. Hey, buddy, you want to get back on my shoulder? He blaster rifles the wall. All right. And goes I'm, beep, beep. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. All right, now pick him up and put him back there. All right, cool. Pew, pew, pew. Um, okay, so does it have any information on how to get into the ship? Um, you think that might be behind the password lock. Okay. Uh, let's, go, let's go over there, then. Other than that, the data pad is full of his logs that essentially amount to him being someone who desperately wanted to become a Sith. He was a Dark Force user, user but was not able to find a master. And so he's sort of a self-made Dark Star Force user. Uh, fanboy of the Sith. He's a Sith nerd. Um, okay. Sith groupie. Sith groupie. Um, he can use that slicing power of yours to try to enter through uh, get the password. I will do that. Okay, go ahead and roll your dice. So it's machine use or, hold on. The machine use. Uh, just trying to so plus two. Okay, machine. And uh, would I have the droid in, in, engaging with that, or it's either you or the droid. Which has better? Oh, well, the droid just wants to blow shit up. So I'm just gonna. I'll do it myself. So plus six. Forty nine. And the difficulty of the lock. Going to decide randomly um, is 67. So at least for today, you're not able to figure out the data pad lock. You can try again tomorrow. Okay. Let's get into the. I need to get into the medical facility. Um, the medical facility is locked, um, and it appears to be sealed shut. You will need a. Uh, you need to slice the door to get in. But I have a lightsaber. You can just break the door open if you want to. I'll roll. Um, that, that's one of those things that, like, in the future, if you have a lightsaber, if there's a locked door, you can open it, unless it's made of a very special material. Okay. So 
but it's also the most obvious thing in the to- in the world to do. Yeah. So if you're trying to hide from somebody, you're not going to be hiding while you're turning the door open. Yeah. So I I got an eighty four. Okay, and this door is lock level. Yeah, you open up the door, and the medical facility is in a state of disrepair. There is one backup tank that appears to be uh, operating at minimum efficiency. Well, I got to put them in it. Um, I can try to see if I can work on it at all. It will heal the person fully in a in about two weeks' time. Can I work Normally it would take months. Could I work on it to make it more efficient but while it's going? Uh, yes, but if you critically fail, they'll drown. Uh, fuck. Uh, are there any medical droids or anything else in there? There are medical droids that are in states, the various states of disrepair. Okay. All so, the other back to tanks. Okay, so I'm you're just going to put them into the back to tank for now. Um, and then I'm going to see, for the rest of my day, I'll see if I can take apart the other droids to assemble one functioning one. Okay. That is a cannibalistic method that will um, authentic- like uh, triple your score, your bonus for that, but it will get rid of some of the other droids that um, you could have possibly... How many medical Mm -hmm. droids are in there? There are three total. Uh, What are their states of repair? What Um, are their states of disrepair? One of them is about 75% um, operational. It just can't be turned on yet. You don't know why. The other two are about 50% um, put together. Okay. I guess I'll try to fix them or fix one at a time without cannibalizing them. Um, You could do about one of these a day. I will spend the rest of my day trying to do one. Oh, and before we get too far, rewards for the boss battle. So it, you take the three things that you use the most in this battle and add four to them, four to the scores. Okay, the last three years. Hey, Venom, you still with us? I'm here. Okay, good. Um, you adding it up your extra XP? I missed that. Um, so for the boss battle, you guys got um, to pick the three, the three skills you use the most in the battle and add four to the score. So, nine, right, so that was my physical, my force, my. Double blade. So my inspiration is at eight or ten now. How was it before? It was at four when we started the battle. So eight. Okay. Oh no, no ten because you you were getting that plus two anyway, so it should be a ten. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, and now uh, you go ahead and work on getting the doors open, and let's just see how much time passes. For every day that you do not uh, manage to get the door open, uh, Venom and the rest of the people can recover, and um, you guys can take a training day. Do we want to end it here and come back? Because it is 10.30 for me, and I do need to... Well, there's one more thing that I wanted to to show off, so just, just skipping a couple of days... Um, you're working on the droids, and um, let's just roll a, let's, I'll roll a 10-sided dice to see how long this takes everybody. Um, well, it only takes one more day. So you get one of the droids working, and the droid starts tending to your patient, and the locked ship, uh, the, the locked file opens up, and you find out it is for... The ship. Although it, you find out that it is not in fact his ship. It belongs to someone else. He arrived on the shuttle. Hmm. 
where he was picked up just like you. And um, the ship itself is closed and he does not know how to open it up without destroying its ability to fly. So you could saber through the door, but then this it wouldn't be uh, space worthy anymore. Um, but essentially this is where you also get the coordinates so you can go and um, explore the other areas now um, to get you direct to the shuttle. And right this, you guys have a home base now. You have droids. Well, uh, let's see how many droids you have left. You have one droid, plus a medical droid. And you have a ship that you can't get into and a small shuttle. And this is where we can leave it. All right. Okay. All right. Um, it, unless there's anything else you want to, to wrap up with, Venom. What was there? No, I was just I was wondering if you wanted to wrap up with anything before we were done. Hmm. I think I think I'm good. Okay, then that will be the last bit of Wookie Cookies. Episode three, mm -hmm. which we might tentatively call this episode uh, Sith Cookies, because uh, mm. we have left. Um, what's the what's the droid's name? Oh, Gypsy Danger. Gypsy Danger has decided that it has been long enough and has started cutting up around her. Jesus my cookies. Christ! I uh, I I have an alter al alternative proposal of uh. First aid or first date? <laughs> um, so Fourth the, law. the master uh, is dead. Ball killed him. Um, so uh -huh. what would you? Who would you like to first aid or first date? No, no, no. That that's just the name of the episode. Oh, first oh. Uh, date. Or first date. <laughs> that sounds perfect. Okay, I'll, I'll 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 keep that in mind when I'm putting all this together. And that's, we're going to go ahead and end it here. And um, I hope somebody listens to this. Yeah. The next one, episode four will probably be called Sith Cookies because, ha ha ha.